What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Retro Hoop Collectibles. We have a submission reveal to do um, about a week and a half ago. Uh, I sent off three separate submissions to three separate grading companies. I have a rather large submission of about 26 cards that's out right now to CSG. I have another submission of three cards that is sent out to PSA for auto autograph authentication. And then I have a, um, I had a 13 card order sent to SGC uh, for grading. And then while I was at the Dallas card show, I picked up a couple of cards and uh, they were there at the Dallas card show, SGC was. So I uh, submitted with them while at, I dropped off at the Dallas card show. So we got, obviously, got the SGC back super quick. We'll go over the stats on that in a second. I believe the next one that I'll be getting is going to be the CSG one. Um, the PSA one has been received. I believe it's in research and ID. Uh, so we should, you know, that one's moving along rather quickly, uh, quickly quick, quicker than I expected. Um, I haven't seen any email updates for my CSG order other than they received it at the beginning of this month, where this is uh, September 19th right now or 18th right now. Um, so we'll see how that one goes and we'll keep an eye on, on total turnaround time for that order. But um, what we're going to do is, so this was the $30 a card, right? There's uh sgc is right now i think the most expensive because uh psa is at bulk at 22 23 dollars or something like that uh bulk submission if you want to submit with them i submitted with csg at 15 dollars a card uh bulk submission minimum of 25 cards i don't know what the minimum is for psa i'll, I'll have to find out i'll i'll pop it up right here if i if i get a chance to look at it um they just submitted they just opened up bulk submission so we'll see about that uh, but SGC right now is by far the, the most expensive, uh, by what? $10, I think, or $8, um, $15. If you look at the CSG, uh, but by far the quickest. So, um, I talk about this all the time. SGC is my favorite grading company. Uh, it's my number one. It's who I would go to all the time, uh, given no constraints. If money wasn't an issue, if time wasn't an issue, um, the most important thing to me is grading accuracy and uh, what I feel to be a fair grade on cards. Um, so they're, they're my number one, uh, hands down. If you want, um, you know, value or in terms of aftermarket value or, uh, you know, once it's graded what you can sell it for, PSA is obviously the way to go. SGC is a very close second. Uh, CSG would be a close third, but, um, you know, CSG also has $15 submissions. So all these submissions that we're going to go over today were all $30 subs that I did. Um, most of them are mine, a handful of them, are my boy, Peter's, you guys know my man, Peter, uh, out in Australia, I have a few of his cards that we're going to be subbing. Um, and him and I kind of feel the same way. We're kind of hoping SGC drops their prices. But I have a feeling that that's probably not going to happen uh, anytime soon. Um, I don't, I don't see anything that they're putting out in terms of. I mean, I, I feel like a lot of people are submitting to them. I mean, I'm I'm in a couple of group submission, um, uh, you know, Facebook groups, and uh, there's a lot of Instagram uh, pages that I follow of people that are submitting to CS uh, SGC. And I think that the market as a whole is really um, accepting the quick turnaround as a premium service and thus are willing to pay a bit of a premium price for it. And if that's the case, then the market essentially has decided that CSG's rapid turnaround time, along with what many perceive to be a uh, good grading accuracy and practices as well as an amazing customer service um that thirty dollars is worth the service don't shoot me that's just what's going on because i guarantee you having spoken to some of the people 
at a high level at SGC. Those are very intelligent business folks. And if there were any issues like that that would require them to lower the price in order to get more submissions on board so that they can have a healthier backlog, I'm sure they would have done it by now. I just don't think that's the case. I think they're getting more than enough cards at the $30 price to keep whatever folks they have busy and uh, the overhead and the lights paid for. That's it. Anyway, all right, let's get into this submission. All right, we'll go down to the camera here. Tuxedo time, as always. I'm going to flip this over because I don't want to know what the grades are. I don't know what these grades are. Um, I have... With this submission that I sent off, I sent off some a bunch of PC stuff. Listen, guys, I am not the guy to look at a card raw and have a good idea of what it's going to grade. I'm really not. I am not good at that at all. Uh, what I do know is that anything that I do send off to get graded, um, I am going to want slabbed regardless of what the grade is. That allows me a little bit of, um, I guess, grace, if you will, when it comes to the grade itself. Um, I know most of you grade in order to add value to your cards, which is great. I don't, that's, you know, I don't knock that. Um, I mainly grade because it's PC stuff and I want to uh, protect it, slab it. And then if it gets a good grade, even better, right? Um, that's just my that's my mo when I go to submit, which is why, which is why my flexibility is a little bit uh, higher in terms of where I'm sending these cards to. I, I I you know my preference would be SGC because I like them as a company, uh, but I, I'm not you know I, I I I will also send to other companies if I feel like. Their service is, oh, they did grade this one. Okay, I'm pretty excited about that one. Because that one, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that one. Um, uh, so, yeah, so I have a little bit of flexibility in that sense. Um, so, let's talk about timeline. Timeline, um, this particular order was sent, this stack right here, along with this big boy card, was sent uh submitted on september 10th um they received it no my apologies this one and the big boy were submitted on september 12th uh they shipped it on, i shipped it out they received it on september 12th sorry they received it on september 12th into C uh, sgc they graded it on September 14th, and here we are, September 18th, and these are back in my hands. So we're looking at a tw uh, 12, 6, 6 day, 6 calendar day turnaround. Okay? Less than a week turnaround calendar days. Now, these four right here were submitted at the Dallas Card Show on September 10th. They received them, obviously, in September 10th because I was there. I dropped them off at the Dallas Card Show. But they were also graded on September 14th. So both of these orders were submitted at different times. The drop-off order came back a hell of a lot quicker. So, um, But they, uh, they made it on, at the same time. So, I mean, as far as turnaround times, guys, nobody's, nobody's holding a candle to sgc it's just that's just the way it is and i'm looking for my sleeves okay now here's the other thing that's really fun about this submission that i did is there is a handful of cards here that were um uh a handful of cards here that were crossovers i did buy some cards and i'm curious to see uh how they cross over this we'll start off with this one this was a deshaun watson if i'm not mistaken this is a green parallel uh, a green prism rookie that i bought and it was in a gma this was in a gma uh it was a gma eight and a half uh i paid what i paid for this 93 dollars 
I think, and a GMA eight and a half. So we'll see what it got. And it got an SGC nine. Nine. All right. So a little kick up in a grade. Pretty cool card. Um, yeah, good stuff. This Luca I bought was an HGA nine. Okay. I told you guys I wanted I wanted one in my collection. This is PC. And it got a nine. So HGA got it at a nine. SGC put it at a nine. Um so, pretty happy about that. Looks so much better in a tuxedo. Looks so much better in a tux. This one I bought at the Dallas Card Show the first time I went, if I'm not mistaken, PSA 7 or 8. I think it might be a PSA 7. Now, you guys can tell the backs is completely off-center. But... I, again, this is another one of the ones that I wanted to have in my PC in an SGC slab because I have the base card in an SGC slab. So this is PSA 7. Oh, nice. Eight and a half. A little off center. Um, but just a gorgeous, gorgeous card. This is the Prism Prism. Um, and it's going to look amazing next to the Prism base for the year. Uh, first year of... Panini Prism. Pretty happy to have this one. Uh, actually did pretty good on the crossover. So, yeah, pretty dope. All right. Uh, this is the Italian sticker, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this one was a PSA 6 when I bought it. I paid $13 for it. Um, stickers are always a toss-up, so we'll, we'll see. A PSA 6 down to a SGC 5. Stickers are tough, y'all. Stickers are rough. You just never know. They're a toss-up. But cool one to have in the collection. Now, this is uh, the first card in my boy Peter's... Um, oh, a, a 6. That's pretty good for a 71, 72 tops. Pretty solid card there. It is a little off-center. But other than that, a relatively sharp card. Pretty good grade for a 71 tops. Rudy Tom Janovich. I'm a little jealous that he has that. I need to find me one. Uh, this is another Elijah one. 12, 13 Panini Prism. Got a PSA 9. That's nice. So this is MVPs on that first year Prism. In the silver. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. I like that. Uh, Larry Bird upper deck autograph. Pretty dope card. Eight and a half. They didn't. They didn't give us a auto. No auto grade. That's interesting. Hmm. I wonder why I didn't get an auto grade. I have to look into that. Card got eight and a half, though. That's also my man, Peters. Moses Malone got a three and a half. This one was a little rough, the card. But again, we're talking about 75, 76 tops. Moses Malone, I believe, is rookie card. So, pretty dope there. Another Houston Rocket. Ralph Sampson, 86 Fleer. Got the five and a half. Corners are a little rough on this one. Edges are a little rough on this one. Centering is way off on the back. Always good to have these graded, though. It's funny. Um, there's a lot of people that, are, that that post, you know, like on the forums and stuff like that, and then post on, on the Facebook groups. Hey, I have this 86 Fleer. Should I get a grade? Yes, you should get every single 86 Fleer graded at bare minimum for authenticity. Uh, this is Panini Prism. I believe this is a Shimmer, Red Shimmer, 9.5. Nice. Nice Panini Shimmer there for my boy Peter. Man, some good grades there. Uh, Tops. I think this is a Refractor, 35 out of 100. Bowman's Best. 
Wow, this thing got a nine. That is nice. Man, gold Elijah one to a hundred. Very nice. And then finally, this card, I'm really excited to see what it got because I have no idea. Um, this came out of a perforated set. Uh, Penny Hardaway, Anthony Hardaway, rookie card, perforated, got an eight. Pretty good for a perforated card. I'm not mad at that at all. This is 100% staying in the old PC. That's pretty dope. And then we got a big boy here. This is Calvin Murphy. Another one that I am very jealous that I don't have. This one got a four. Big boy sleeve. Ooh, man, this one got a big old scratch on there. I wonder how that happened. Good stuff, man. Is that something here? No. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, uh, so this is the order that I sent off. Now, I picked up a couple of Davis Mills while I was at um, the Dallas Card Show. Picked them up cheap and decided to drop them off there to get graded. <coughs> this one got an eight and a half. I just think the centering is off that bad. Believe it or not, for as off-center as this one is, I saw maybe like a dozen of them. And none of them, this was the, I mean, the closest one that I can find. Any centered versions of this, guys, I would highly suggest you guys pick them up because oof, that centering was really bad. Uh, I forgot what the, here's the base. Oh, nice. Look at the difference, man. Look at that centering. I wish, I wish they would have swapped. Got a base and a 10, though. I'm pretty happy about that. This one is, I think, purple. No, red, white, blue. Got a nine. Jesus, man. Centering is just bad on these. But I knew that, though. I mean, Mills is going to be PC going. Nice. Got a 10 on the blue. Davis Mills out of 179. Pretty happy about that. They lost today, but it's okay. Nice. All right. That's going to do it, folks. Thank you guys for watching. Pretty cool little crossovers on a couple of these that I'm pretty happy about. Um, not too bad. This one is probably going to be the one that I'm most excited about. Perforated. Rookie. Penny Hardaway. Rookie. NBA Hoops. Pretty dope. Pretty happy about that. Uh, let me know what you guys think. All PC stuff. Pretty happy about some of these crossovers, especially at GMA. Let me know where you guys are subbing to these days. Uh, I'm gonna, con excuse me. I'm gonna continue to sub with uh, SGC and CSG for all my bulk stuff, especially if it's PC that I just want to get slabbed. You know, uh, we're gonna continue to grow my graded card collection. Speaking of graded card collection, I'll be doing a video here pretty soon on the value of my graded card collection, the entirety of it. It's nothing to shake a stick at, but I thought it was kind of cool. Um, so stay tuned for that. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Love y'all. Peace.